Hi everyone, I'm Farida. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to the Dental Radiology. Have you ever gagged when having X-rays taken? Some people can see if the X-ray holder is coming toward their mouth. It's not even in their mouth yet, and they start to gag. As dental professionals, this can be frustrating, time-consuming, and scary. Today, I'm going to give you some tips that can help you out how to stop your gag reflex during dental X-rays. Gagging in dental chair is embarrassing and awkward for everyone. Gag reflex is a natural, protective, automatic response to keep us alive. It keeps us from allowing any foreign object from going down our throat and preventing choking, like jerking our hand when touching something hot. We don't think about gagging, it just happens. The pharyngeal reflex activates the gag reflex when something touches the back of our throat, roof of the mouth, tongue, or the uvula area. The tissue constricts in the back of the mouth, which causes a person to gag or feel like throwing up. Many people become concerned when the gag reflex activates and this makes them feel uncomfortable or nervous. Think of a sword swallower. How do they train themselves not to gag while putting that long sword down their throats? What about people who swallow fire? Do these people not have gag reflex? How do they overcome any gagging? Do they use continuous training such as mind over matter? Placing that huge x-ray holder in a little mouth is a challenging for both patient and the dental professionals. There are other ways to collect the radiographic records such as a panorex, child size sensors, or moving the sensor to the center of the palate to avoid contact and the gagging. Communication is the key. Talking softly and calmly to the patient to give them a sense of calm and control. There are several things that dentists can do to help the patient prevent the gagging. Number one, the most common tip is breathe through your nose. I make sure the patient keeps breathing through his or her nose, which controls the reflex. When you breathe through your mouth, the air that crosses around the roof of the mouth kind of tickles it and start the gag reflex. Number two, distracting. I suggest patients lift their right leg off the chair and wiggle their big toe to get their mind off what we're doing. It works most of the time. Or by telling patients squeezing their left thumb. This popular dentist trick can help distract their mind, especially when emphasizing on the left or right side. Number three, humming. It's kind of weird, but give it a try. You can't hum and gag at the same time. Number four, desensitize the tongue with practice. Our patients could practice at home to desensitize their gag reflex each time they brush their teeth. We recommend that patients brush their tongues in thirds starting at the tip, then moving back a little to brush the middle third, and finally the last third of the tongue, which is the gag area. They should do this daily and eventually the gag reflex will desensitize. Number five, acupuncture point. Some articles talk about this pushing pushing the groove under your lower lip or anti-gag point in front of your ear with your thumb takes your mind off the procedure. Number six, salt. Deep the tip of the tongue in salt. Yes, just a table salt. I keep a bunch of restaurant packets in my drawer and put them in case that a patient would need them. They dip their tongue into it and snap. I take the image. I have patients dip salt under their tongue and then I proceed the x-ray. It works. 
or when the patient opens, I dot the tongue with salt and the sensor goes right in. Um, I guess that they can't concentrate on the salt taste and the gag in the same time. Number seven, throat numbing spray or topical anesthesia. Products with benzokine which can temporarily numb the tongue are throat numbing sprays. And uh, the topical anesthesia are gels which we use before injections can be placed in the roof of the mouth, which can make numbness and reduce the gag reflex. Number eight, sedation. Nitro oxide or laughing gas is another option mostly for people with anxiety and that can make the trick for reducing the gag reflex. I know a lot of patients have problem with this and I hope these tricks can help you out. Gag is a normal response and different patients can use different tricks. Some patients are more sensitive than others. If you know any other tricks that can work, please comment down below and thank you all for watching. Okay, and that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and press that bell button for getting notifications for the next video. Have an awesome day.